Right, my check one two. Everybody hear me? Good. What's up, everybody? Good morning, Vietnam. Hey, this is not a test. This is rock and roll. Time to rock and roll. Delta to the DMC. Is that mean what it says? Oh, uh, mentioned by the movies. Rewrite that name from Elvis Presley movie. Rewrite that name. Hey, it's a little too early. Hey, it's too late. It's all six hundred. Oh, six hundred hours. What does that stand for? Oh my gosh, it's early. Speaking of early, how about that little Lionel that we were talking about? Yo! Gotta give y'all a little something here. Welcome, everybody, to the DC 2057 HO Scale official video. Yes, it's HO Scale. Now, <laughs> I just say the word Lionel. So, if you know what it is, this is a mystery steam locomotive. If you already know what it is, do not post it on the comment. You post it on the comment, and I'll have you banned. I'm not kidding. Don't think I'm joking, I'm not. Alright. Oh my gosh! She's beautiful. I cannot scream. My, my, my inward body's like... That was way wrong. <laughs> that was way wrong. <laughs> <coughs> okay. I'm not gonna tell you what the steam locomotive, but I'll give you a little hint. If you think this is a four, whoops, four, eight, four. The GS4, as you just said it right now, you are correct. What kind? Is it daylight? The answer is... No. Guys. I tell you, This is such a blessing. You don't know how awesome God is, man. Some of you may believe him, some of you may not. I don't care what you think. This is my own personal belief. This is what I believe in. But I was searching through the eBay, and this thing, this thing, yeah, Lionel, HO scale, this thing popped up on the search. I was like, wait a minute, what is this? I took a look at it, C9 factory product. It was from the, base from the factory. And I was like, well, oh, this is going to be interesting, let's take a look at it. And... As soon as I saw it, it was factory brand new. It's used, open box. Brand new. Brand spanking new of the GS4. What kind is it? Stop, stop hiding it. I'll get to you in just a moment. Here we go. Y'all ready? <gasps> no. Yes. Look at it very carefully. You can't see really see the detail of the locomotive because of the camera. Everything is like re reflecting off. You can't really see everything, but dang, you guys, it is beautiful. Brand new, none was. I was gonna say none used, never used. I'm gonna take the tender off. Just a moment. Shut up, Discord. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, this is... Oh! Yes! <laughs> I love steam locomotives more than diesels. Yeah, 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 it's got this right here, this whole big deal. But get it over the backside. It's got a... Hook coupler on it. But yeah, there is a way... I took a look at it, and there is a way for me to remove it by... Take it off the screws. That's not gonna be a difficult work to do so. And the wheels, this, the wheels that you all see here, they're all plastic. I can change them out and put them metal. Big deal. So I can. 
I should be able to carefully pull the wheels out. Might be a little bit difficult in a later time. In the long run. I just don't want to break it. Because <laughs> if, it, it if it doesn't pop up, uh, oh well. I did the, at least I did what I could. So let's, we'll see from there. We'll see. I'm not worried about that right now. I don't, don't want to try it out and then end up breaking it. Because these, these are pretty strong. I mean, the detail, I, I mean, I can see from my own eyes, the detail is amazing. I can see all the rivets, but you can't see it. Yes, there is rivets on it. Man, you guys, this is just beautiful. Beautiful tender. Oh, the steam. The locomotive. Oh! Can I be able to pull it out? We'll see. Just gotta be very, very careful. You can't do it by force. I know. I know people can get excited, but you have to learn how to be very careful. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> gotcha! You thought I was gonna jump it, huh? Look at that. Mm. She is magnificent. Oh, I can't. I, I can't roll the wheels. They're like, like really locked in. So I'm not gonna mess with that. I don't want to do anything. Yeah, I can't really roll it, but I have to test it to make sure that it does work. Make sure that it does run. I have to test it out because usually they let you move it freely. Some of them don't. So we're gonna take a look at it a little deeper in this steam locomotive i mean i tell you she is magnificent well i'm hoping to find and i do have the chassis systems uh tender and what i'm hoping to find is any type of the steam locomotive that has a good long hole like this tender right here tender <laughs> like this steam locomotive here i can be able to hook it up in the back side and just run it Here's the thing. Take a look at this. <laughs> I didn't even know this was getting closed. That is so cool, guys. Take a look at the top side. You got the whistle. You got the... I don't know what those called. <laughs> I'm terrible. And you got the smoke sack, of course. But, dang, you guys. I have to test it out before I can give this seller a good feedback. Because... He doesn't accept returns if it doesn't work. That's a hundred dollar risk. Alright, let me go ahead carefully. I did a, a, a video uh, before I made this one. I was like giving out so much, so many good details about the steam locomotive. I forgot I was going to say right now. Because the freaking microphone was muted. I was like, great. <laughs> Next up, I uh, will put, uh, we'll put this uh, steam locomotive to the test. But next up, guys, I have to show you something else. Because I didn't get a chance till now. I carefully unwrap this. I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering, when are you going to run it on the layout? Soon, guys, soon. I would love to run it on the layout very soon when we move. Here is the next. I. I. Uh, guys. This is unbelievable. I saw the, uh, the passenger train. Five cars for a pretty good price. And I placed my bid and I maximized it out to 50 bucks. Maximize it. I said, I'm not going to let this get away. Got up to $37, and guess what? I won this. Is a Baltimore and Ohio passenger cars. And I just don't have just one. I said five, right? So that makes it one, two, three, four. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> don't want to go somewhere. And five. I, mean, I was going to fake it some more. But saying, oh, I got six, seven, eight, that, but I didn't want to do that because I, I got too many on my hands here. So you can actually see 
<laughs> I got four right here on my hands. I got one over here on the side. So yeah, basically, I got five cars, and these are these are pretty good. I really I really like it. I really like the 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 cars here. Um, one of them did the the seller did mention, I believe, that one of them has a missing uh truck on it. Oh my gosh, they're all Baltimore and Ohio. They're all Baltimore and Ohio. Let's see. This one has a truck. This one has the truck. Okay, so this one has the truck. He mentioned about one of them is missing. Bingo. We found it. But that's okay, though, because, you know, even though one is missing... So I'll, wrap it, I'll unwrap it for you guys to see. There is one missing. Which is not a big deal. I can be able to get it replaced. Big deal. Because all I gotta do is just find the Amtrak. You know, anything that is, like, probably in bad shape. Just buy one and then just take it off and replace it. Big deal. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm I am very happy now. Here's the thing. Oh, I gotta wrap this back up. Uh, you're asking me when am I gonna run these on the layout? <coughs> right now. <laughs> <coughs> the cold got me. The cold air. I don't I don't have a cold or anything, but the cold air got me. But um you're asking this question. Daniel, when are you gonna run this on the layout? And my answer to you soon. We, me and my mom were thinking about to move out. Okay? If not, she said there's a place back here in the back porch that is so big, I can make my layout out of that. But here's the thing. With this steam locomotive, I bought me another passenger car. Which I thought I was going to do Amtrak. But seems to me, the plans may change again. What do you think... If I had this American Freedom with this Amtrak cars, do you think they'll fit together? Look at it very carefully. Do you think they'll fit together? I think so. Because here's the thing, <laughs> and I don't want to hear this from anyone. I saw on a YouTube video in 1977. The American Freedom Train was running. It started off from Orlando, Florida, all the way up to Jacksonville, Florida. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what the heck is this SP4449 tunnel all the way out here in the east? And I was like, my goodness, you guys are crazy. But they had the they had the best run. And this was fortunate, I think, fortunate by the good CEO of Amtrak run the cars. So I am looking. I am so looking forward to find some more of these um, third phase heritage Amtrak cars. I got the first one, but they also said that the window. Yeah, as you can see here, on the other side you got a window, and then on this side it's got a window missing. How do I get it out? I don't know. I gotta figure out how to uh, how to take it off. I mean, it's not gonna be that easy for me to take it off. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is like really glued into it, so it's not gonna be a possibility to pull it out. If I would, if I would, if I could, but it's not gonna be that easy to pull it out. Now, here's the thing: it does have these couplers. I think. Let me let me check on eBay real quick. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking at the uh, back in October 2019. Um, I purchased the Amtrak HO, uh, is by Athern. This is by Athern. Uh, HO scale Amtrak Streamline Coach. I gotta find some more of these. I gotta, I got this for like 13 bucks, man. It was a pretty good deal. I mean, you can't, you can't beat it. I mean, it's the best one. I also have other, uh, I also have other buildings. I did the video before, but I don't think I'm gonna redo it. Because I already done it once, and there's no point for me to do it again. But I will, I have five, five of the, uh, Baltimore and Ohio, and I'm gonna need four more of these to be able to complete it. But I think, uh, this has the couplers, regular couplers, but I think we will have to use KD couplers to replace them. Which is not gonna be a big deal, because I can be able to, I looked at the, uh, this right here, I can be able to pull it out, no problems. So, you're asking if it's a possibility I'd be able to pull this out. 
I'm gonna tell you, it may not be. But I might find something, maybe like a hook, and I try to get the window to put put it back in place. Because on each end, oh, I thought it dropped. On each end right here, it does have a uh, open hole. So this gives me the, the per pretty good opportunity to be able to come and uh, put the put back the window back on here. But I tell you, I think the American Freedom Train will fit with this Amtrak cars. I got a lot more as well. Uh, let me see, what else am I missing? I think I already told y'all that uh, this is what I won from. Oh, actually, a pa extra, extra package that came from uh, Traniac. A Southern Pacific coal car. And I believe I did a video about the Accu AccuRail auto rack. I'm going to try to see if I can uh, put the NASCAR. I'm making a NASCAR TDSI. I love NASCAR. You cannot tell me. You cannot put NASCAR in your HO skill. Uh, yes, I can. I know it's uh, 164, but a little bit bigger than the, um, a little bit bigger than the HO scale. But what am I? What the heck am I supposed to do? I right, better pull this back out. I'm, I want to put this uh, steam locomotive back in, but I have to get this plastic over it. And I tell you, this is brand spanking new. The steam locomotive, hardly used. It's probably used for like probably for display. But I tell you, I got to test run this thing, and I can't wait to try it out. I'm so excited. Now, this is one of the reasons why my mom made a deal with me. If you stop streaming, I'll help you. And she has helped me to get the, oh, the steam locomotive. <laughs> I'm just so, I'm, I'm just so grateful for that. <coughs> All right, guys. Actually, I'm gonna leave it leave it outside the box because I have to I have to test it because I've, uh, it's a hundred dollar risk. This guy is not gonna accept returns. Let me let me double check on that just to be sure. I think he is correct, but he can he can't give me the money back. But I think it's like really a huge loss for him, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and um. He said he it's a pre owned item in original box. Excellent, like new condition. It's brand new, never ran. He tested it. It runs, and uh, the lights brand new, never used. He packaged items well for safe shipping and ship fast. He put. Let me tell y'all something. He put a two day priority shipping, twelve fifty, twelve dollars and fifty five cents for the priority shipping plus insurance on it. I couldn't believe it. I, I was I was amazed, and it, it requires a year, uh, age of sixteen. So, the HO scale is not for kids. <laughs> I tell you. I tell you. And I will be running mostly HO scale DC instead of DCC. Now, here's the thing. To my surprise about this line now. I checked out uh, on Model Trains stuff and Train World. Lionel has three steam engines. Two, uh, one of them is uh, Polar Express, which is okay. And they had another. They have another one called the New New York Central. Now, they run it. This is to my surprise. They run that either DCC or DC. And all you got to do is just turn the DC all the way up, and you can control it using Bluetooth from. Hold on. You can control your little locomotive from your phone. I can't believe it. I was like, if I if I ever gonna visit the uh, HO scale club, maybe around here in Georgia, if there is one. I would run it using my phone instead of using their controller because their controllers could have germs spreading all around. I could have a coronavirus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not trying to bring y'all out. I'm just kidding. Relax. But uh, I look forward. I look forward to run this. Steam locomotive. <clears throat> so he... It was not even long. Okay, so he, he posted... He posted the... Um, the item on eBay on January 19th. 
and I bought it. What? And I bought it on the 19th, 30 days. <laughs> 30 days. I bought it on Wednesday. That's crazy. <laughs> Ooh, I bought it the same day. Well, not exactly the same day. Just same day, 30 days apart. That's freaky. Um, oh my gosh. Nice, nice, nice. I think he's gonna get a good. I think he's gonna get a good. Um, I think he's gonna get a good feedback from me. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, and I, I want to let you all know. I've been checking out his uh, feedback, and I've been seeing a lot of good feedbacks about different engines that people bought. But I'm gonna test this. Test this uh, tonight. After this video is over, I'm pretty sure you're gonna ask, "Can we see it?" The answer is no, because I got no place to show y'all. My bed is a mess right now with full of HO scale stuff. I was just trying to get into the video. But I'm going to test it out tonight and make sure everything works. And then you guys are going to see it when it's running, when the layout is complete. There's a lot of things I have to do, but I'm so glad I bought the tracks for the 4x8. Four four, for the four by eight. <gasps> Excuse me. But I want to get rid of the, the 18 radius. I want to sell them and uh, go for the 24. Uh, I prefer the maximum Atlas Code 83 because those are better, and I like Code 83. I looked at the Code 100. They don't even have, uh, I haven't seen, uh, 24-inch radius on it. So, I got people telling me about the different types of radius and all that goody two shoes. Alright, I've, I've taken too much of your time. I don't want to do more than 20 minutes. Alright, take your office up and buy on the DC 2057 HO scale. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you. On down the line. I'm taking it over, Mr. WIT simula Simulation. I'll see you on the down the line. Oh, 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 oh. He said never boop the booper. Well, guess what? Y'all have a great night. God bless you guys. Hope to see you on the next video. Take care. I'll see you down the line. <gasps> boop. I'm a terrible person. Bye-bye.